Well, Park Rose Restaurant tells Queen 6 it's been vandalized three times since it opened last month. Brand new restaurant. We talked to another business in that same neighborhood that says vandalism and burglaries have been ongoing problems. Our Jenny Young is asking city leaders what's being done to help people in that part of town. Dan Jenny, I reached out to Mayor Wheeler's office. Remember, he also serves as the city's police commissioner. Uh, they responded with a statement from the mayor saying that he is working with, quote, public safety partners uh, to increase staffing at the police bureau. As we know, there's been a staffing crisis. PPB told me recently that they just do not have the staff, the officers to investigate these types of crimes. They have to focus on major crimes, violent crimes. I spoke uh, with the owners of a pho restaurant that just opened last month over on 109th and Sandy. They tell me a few days before their grand opening, someone shattered one of their windows. It costs $2,000 out of pocket to repair that. And then since uh, the opening, their windows have been smashed two other times. Uh, those two windows are still boarded up today because those owners, they're Vietnamese immigrants, and they say they cannot afford to pay these out of pocket repairs, nearly $7,000. Uh, they didn't want to speak on camera, but we did talk to some, some of their customers on camera. Uh, Sansare Miller has lived in the park in Park Rose neighborhood for about 30 years and says the current state of things is disheartening. That's right. They're just trying to make a living. They're just trying to make their way here, uh, you know, and have their families and have a business. And 20 years ago, you wouldn't see this stuff happening. I mean, I mean, not, not like it's happening now. All right, I spoke with the manager over at Park Rose Hardware just a couple of blocks um, along the way there on Sandy, and he says that theft is an everyday occurrence. Burglaries happen from time to time as well, but they've put up metal fencing on the doors and windows to prevent those uh, burglaries ha from happening overnight. So we looked at data, I looked at data from the last six years, uh, PPB data on vandalism and burglaries. And of course, as we know, uh, the numbers, the reports have increased, but they have increased drastically. I was really shocked by these numbers and we're talking about those coming up at five. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Queen 6 News. No surprise that a lot of these restaurants are having to close down. $7,000, that's a lot. Right, and insurance companies start to balk. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jenny, thank you. Queen 6.